The Four Golden Nuggets is a YouTube show where I sit down with incredible people that are doing big things from across the globe, and I get four pieces of advice and insight um, that I can then share with the viewers across the world on the internet and on social media. And today, I've got the first interview that I ever shot outside of the United States in Nairobi, Kenya, with the one and only Salali Shani. She is a, a old time friend. We go way back, and she's also the three time host of Kenya's national women's basketball team. And she's the current host of a televised show across Africa called Ball in Africa, a show which is all about the ins and outs of basketball. And she's going to be on the show talking about what she loves the most about being on television, her advice to all the young people out there who are looking to build up the courage to follow their passion, and all the young people across Kenya and across Africa um, that are are in love with basketball and want to pursue basketball as a career and what she wants to be remembered for. This is the first interview that I've done outside the USA. I'm expanding into international guests on the show for the first time. She's an inspiration and role model, so please, you know, make sure to check out this interview. So we're here with Salali Shani, the host of Ball in Africa, a very old, like, family friend. We go way back. Way back. And she's the three-time captain of uh, Team Kenya. So welcome to the show. Thanks, Google. So I've got some questions for you. You're a host on a televised show here in Africa. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a you know, very cool and influential job. So what do you like the most about being on television? Um, I think what what I like the most about being on television is specifically why I'm on television. As the host of an African basketball TV show, I mean, basketball is the fastest growing sport in Africa right now. Um, and to see and be part of that movement and to see how it's growing and how it's developing and how they're, they're um, in an increasing amount of developmental clinics for kids. Because, I mean, we all know that, you know, changing the game begins at the level of kids. Right. Uh, LeBron James became who he was because he was a child prodigy. Uh, and, and, and so to see that kind of investment in the game of basketball and then to be a part of that and to showcase it on, on our show, Ball in Africa, I think is, is what's really exciting. For me, I'm, I'm really passionate about basketball. Super passionate about basketball. Um, and to... to be able to contribute how I can in this way, I think is a real honor. You said that basketball is your passion. You've been able to you know, pursue and do something that you're passionate about. So uh, what, what's your advice to all the people out there who have a passion but haven't really pursued it and followed it yet? Um, you just have to go out there and do it. Um, I think I think everyone has a destiny or a calling in life, some an area where your natural talents, what you're passionate about, mm-hmm. actually intersect. Yeah. So it's our responsibility to find out that point, that intersection point where your passion and what you're naturally gifted at um, come together. And you know, it, it can be really scary, especially in a in a in a world where there are a lot of expectations based on your gender, based on your race, a lot of pressure. Mm-hmm. Um, like I studied in human resource management in school. So the natural choice would be for me to, to you know, have an HR uh, consulting firm or be heavily in HR. But as, as much as I love human resource management, I wouldn't necessarily call it my passion. I'm passionate about basketball and African development. And then I found out that I'm naturally talented on TV. That's something I didn't realize. Um, but I just kind of found myself in it. And it was a risk for me to kind of dive into it. If I'd, if I'd kind of based my decision on how I was feeling and how fearful I was feeling about taking this new, um, taking on this new venture, I don't think I would have gone it. So I would, I would tell people, I mean, to really make a difference in this world and to be who you 
you you are created to be, you have to have courage. And um, that courage can only come from within yourself, uh, to be honest. So I would tell anyone, if you have a passion, just go out there and do it. Especially if you're young, uh, but more so if you're older, you know. And, and, and time maybe, quote unquote, is not on your side. Yeah. Just go out and do it. Yeah, I love that answer. Find a, a combination of natural talent and passion and, and find that courage within yourself. Yeah. Really good answer. So here in Kenya and in Africa in general, basketball hasn't really, it's, it's the fastest growing sport you said, but it hasn't caught on as popular as, say, football, right. aka soccer. Right. So what is your advice or words of inspiration to people that want to pursue a career in basketball across Africa and Kenya? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, Google, I, I tell a lot of people, especially when I talk to uh, younger kids, I tell them, uh, you know, for a lot of, a lot of kids, that you ask them what do you want to be when you grow up, they want to tell you, I want to play in the NBA, or I want to be a professional basketball player. And the truth of the matter is, the success rate of, of actually becoming a professional basketball player or playing in the NBA is super low, yeah. not just in Africa, but in for the sure. States as well. For you sure. have really talented players who never made it in the NBA. Uh -huh. So what does that mean? I, I tell kids um, and a lot of people that don't let playing professional basketball be the end game. Uh -huh. But use it as a platform for your own personal development. What I'm trying to say is um, I thought I wanted to play professional basketball, but I realized that's not what I wanted to do uh, much later on in life. But I'm still in basketball. Right. I'm in media and, I'm st and that's how I make my money. Uh, being a TV host of a basketball TV show. Um, basketball as a sport also teaches people a lot of um, characteristics that you can help that can help you later on in life. Things like teamwork, things like communication, especially if you're a leader, uh, th things like uh, balancing your time, especially when you're in school and you're playing ball and um, in school at the same time. So use these kinds of uh, opportunities to develop those skills to propel you in life and take you um, to a level of success. So I would say that you don't have to be, you don't have to be um, a professional basketball player, but you can use basketball as a platform to, right. to really yeah. elevate yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Very good answer. So, so our last question here is something I'd like to ask uh, almost everyone I interview. Uh, what do you want to be remembered for? When, when it's all said and done, uh, what do you want people to be remembered for? <laughs> Uh, I think for me, it's about leaving a legacy. Mm -hmm. uh, I would hate to, you know, die for lack of a better word, <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> Let's not get too morbid. But I would hate to leave, leave this earth without, and people don't remember who I am and what I did. Uh, and the best way to leave a legacy is to impact people's lives, you know, not necessarily, I'm not talking about dishing out stuff or giving donations, but I mean, you know the saying that people don't remember what you did for them, but they remember how you made them feel. Made them feel. So for me, I want to, you know, leave a legacy where people know how I made them feel, whether that's feeling empowered. Um, I'm also really passionate about uh, women women empowerment and uh, making sure the girl child gets an education. Um, whether it's it's challenging the status quo and you know really encouraging people, I I, I want to leave a legacy where people remember me and say, okay, you know what, Salali made a difference. I love that answer. Um, thank you for being on the show. Pleasure. Uh, and I want to tell you, uh, you're, you're an inspiration to people across Africa and across the world. So uh, keep keep doing what you do. Thanks a lot, Bubba.